Hey, how's it going, everybody? Just doing a 12 month update on our Polaris GPS sat nav and reverse camera. So, with no further ado, I'm just going to turn the truck on. Just waiting for the Polaris to load up. So, when we, we had this installed by opposite lock with the reverse and camera on it, and we've now had it for 12 months. And it's been all over Queensland, down into New South Wales, and done a lot of time in, in the Territory, corrugations, and lots of gravel roads, dust, working on site, Glen Helen, Kings Canyon, and back several times. Towing, we asked, uh, the uh, crew at opposite lock to add extra, extra bracketry just because of all the corrugations and that that we do and the off-roading that we do. It goes to the beach everywhere with us and yeah, hasn't let us down. It's awesome. So on the mode that it's on now, it's on the, just the street one. So if I want to change it, I just simply, this is the home screen. I'm just gonna reverse back. So you can see the reverse and camera, clear. Mate, I can't park for diddly squat. So having this reverse camera has taken this 79 series from being a pretty standard farm truck to making it something, as you can see, it's got all the lines there. And yeah, we can reverse out really easy. So there, just simply as soon as it goes into reverse, Bang, up she comes with those little lines. I can even park at the bungalow when we're at Yapoon. We don't even make a full out of sherry. So on ours, we use everything on this. We use obviously the phone setting just here, uh, our Bluetooth music to, to for, our, for all our songs. It's got the navigation screen. Then you can go back to the home screen. Then obviously Aussie Explorer. So that's got all your HEMA maps and everything like that in it. So there I am on uh, HEMA maps. And you can just simply scroll through each type of map that you want and, and change them to, to whichever part that you're in. Obviously, you know, zoom in and zoom out. I don't use this one as much as, because we've got the HEMA 6 up there and in, um, in SB's truck, we've got the uh, HX2 I think it is in the Hema but it's the same maps as you can see there's the Hema there and there's the Hema on here but when this one falls off like when we've been out on some of the big four wheel drive tracks we take that down because it vibrates off um, we just run on this so we can tell where our position is straight away I think probably one of the big benefits that I noticed with this uh, Polaris GPS is the fact that we can know where we are at any time. Like, if we want to go to the HEMA maps and set waypoints, we can. If we want to play our music, it's there. It's just an entertainment package in one. The uh, voice control for for the phone, and that is crystal clear. And that's part of our, our work. But the problem that we had was when we put the Rhino rack on, we had so much noise in the cab that when we sort of got above 60 kilometers, we couldn't talk on this on the on the phone but it didn't matter whether it was this would it be this one or another one but when we put the wacko industries are back on and that's where we've obviously got our setup up the top there for the mic it made it perfect so i use that all the time and so does sb you can see there it keeps your speed and everything like just going back to the home screen again obviously you've got your clocks Tells you what time it is, you know, whereabouts it is. The Bluetooth for your mobile phone. So, you know, Sexy Baby or my phone. Then you've got your Bluetooth music. Probably end up with a few tunes going now. And then you've got video, Google, Chrome, Play Store. You know, if you you can put Apple Maps, all that sort of stuff in here. On and on it goes. It's got a whole DVD player. Um, you can have your camera. You know, if you had a forward-facing camera, all different types of apps. Apple CarPlay, music, 
easy connect and it's got a help screen on here so it can walk you through as you're going i think the big standout features for me are definitely you know these units don't last and i don't think they're generally talking about polaris i think they're talking about all units that have hema maps and that the aftermarket units we have put this thing through its paces and seriously if we haven't broken it in 12 months no one i don't think anybody's going to do it we didn't overly go into it because we it's our first polaris to be honest so we just want to make sure before we give you guys a complete rundown on this that it was a hundred percent credible that you know now after 12 months and you know doing a full season in the nt that we are confident in what it does yeah so we're happy to tell you guys that you know that we trust the product and that it's amazing the reverse and camera works doesn't matter how rough we've been it's never let us down i'll show you the back of the reverse and camera and now one day uh sherry and i were bouncing our way out the other side of alice springs and then sp goes to hit the hema maps and hit this button we didn't even realize and then this function come up so it's your speedo heading elevation trip summary uh distance time left and things like that and now seriously we probably run around on that a fair bit so we normally have that one on that setting i have the hema up there and then i normally have my phone over here and uh obviously we just look out the front of the or the hurricane and we get into it so yeah no we absolutely love it it's just it, it's clear after all the rough corrugated roads it hasn't pixelated or you know shaken apart which sometimes you think how do these things in this vehicle still go you know whether it's the gme or the hema or the you know, one stone armrests that are in here you think to yourself how does it how's it all still go it has not let us down and i could not uh, recommend anything more you know uh, I see guys have got the bigger one I have been talking to Polaris about a 10 inch but it covers your clock and everything so uh, I think we SB and I talked about it and we're pretty happy to stay with this 7 inch setup it sort of suits our needs if we changed anything we might change from this uh, HEMA 6 to the HX2 that, we, that we're that we running in the uh, in the 201 series of Sherry's but unless that changes yeah i just think we'll stay where it is i'm just going to quickly jump out now and show you i'll put it in the reverse one more time to show you how clear it is and there it is you know just lights it up no dramas whatsoever for the reverse and it works well even if a night works you know if you're trying to get out of shopping centers that's where i use it the most when i'll probably use it more when i'm in town than when uh we're out bush you know what i mean oh great for lining up the trailers you know if we've got the bobcat on or our work trailer that that function comes in easy and i know that Ange and the team in uh, at polaris in sydney they're so helpful if you need to know anything you just you just simply give polaris a ring in sydney and that team they'll put you through to the workshop if you needed to know anything when we first started we a few things that we dumb we dumb asked it on that we we didn't understand and uh they are more than helpful to help us with that absolutely amazing product so that's that's what we the screen that i i prefer to use lately so yeah it's absolutely amazing and all the screen functions work really well uh i'm that used to it like i'm driving down the road and i dial me you know dial the volume up or down um i think one of the big things that i use if uh, sherry and i are talking because we often have our music on in here i'll just hit that mute button you know just so that she can take a phone call or if we want to talk about something when we get to a town and really once you've had it in your truck for you know one or two months uh not even that you know one or two weeks i should say depends on how much you use your vehicle you soon get used to the very easy switches you know you've got your back button uh you've got your you know your power you can put your usb in there to download anything you want you know do your updates auxiliary in obviously home button navigation button there it is just very clear, very precise, great graphics. And thanks Polaris, we are sponsored by Polaris. This is uh, was given to us by Polaris to test it, but 100%, it is an amazing bit of gear. We're proud to represent it. So yeah, please, if you've got any questions, you can contact us on 
um, Instagram or on our Instagram page. You can also see or, or YouTube once this YouTube goes up. Yeah, you can contact us or send us an email and yeah, we'll come back to you and answer any questions that you wanted that we know of. You know, sometimes I think we, we use the basic features of all this. There's probably a lot more that we don't know about, but basic is what you get when you've got a Land Cruiser. And this machine is far from being basic and it feels like it's brought this Land Cruiser into the modern era, you know, with all the features it's got, especially you know, when you want to listen to your Slim Dusty, you'll probably, Jerry probably won't want to hear that, or Waylon Jennings, I don't know. <laughs> All them sort of people. So, yeah, no, whatever type of music you're into, you can listen to, and, you know, set your playlist going, especially if you're doing long trips. It's awesome. Yeah, please, if you're interested in one, contact the crew and Polaris GPS, and, and they'll help you out. All right? Thanks very much. Again, thanks, Polaris, for making an amazing bit of equipment. Chowdy bye. So here we are at the back of the vehicle. And as you can see, this, this is no play truck. She, she gets into it. But there's our, um, there's the camera. So we have that centered. So one, to see when we're reversing out and two, to see uh, when we're hooking up the trailer. So it works really well. Covered in dust and mud and grime. The cops a fair bit out the back here, as you can see. But sitting around on the tow bar there now on the X bar. Awesome job, the reverse and camera, absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's a great bit of kit to add to the uh, to the head unit. All right, thanks very much, Polaris.